sausages, anyone? Oh, yes, please. Oh, I love stargazing. <laughs> Me too. What's the nearest star, Big Bird? The closest star to Earth is the Sun Raggles. The Sun is a star? Yes. And Earth moves around the Sun with seven other planets. We call it the Solar System. Can I borrow your football, Will? Oh, uh, um. Imagine this ball is the Sun. Oh, this potato is the planet Mercury. Oh, this one's Venus. And here's Earth. That's us. We all live on a big potato. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. How do you know all this, Big Bear? Oh, uh, Grandfather Bear told me all about space when I was little. I've always wondered what it would be like to go there. I know all about space, too. The moon is made of cheese. Did you know that? <laughs> I'm afraid not, Bluebird. That the moon is made of rock. <laughs> cheese! <laughs> Bluebird? Oh. There are lots of other things to see at night, like the Great Bear. I can't see any bears up there. Not a real bear, but if you join those stars over there... There! That's the Great Bear. It doesn't look much like a bear. What about now? <laughs> <laughs> Let's eat our sausages and potatoes before they get cold. <laughs> I'm going to eat the air. <laughs> <laughs> when we've finished eating, I've got a surprise for you. Um, are you okay in there, Big Bear? <laughs> I'm fine. Couldn't be better. <laughs> Wait till you see what I've got to show you. What is it? Oh, it's my telescope, Archie. It was given to me by my grandfather, Bear. We spent hours looking at the planets. Can we look at them too? Of course. Let's see. Ah, I can see Venus. I want to see. And me. Don't worry. You can all have a turn. Wow. It's really bright. It's the brightest planet of all, and the hottest. Does anyone live on Venus? Uh, no, Holly. Earth's the only planet where there are living things. Oh, I can see a big orange star. Oh, let me see. That's the planet Mars. It's covered in orangey-red dust. So, who was fastest? Uh, me, of course. Oh, Manny? Bluebird? You're about the same. Oh, I'm only just getting started. Call me Rocket Bird. Nearly a disaster. 
Oh no, the telescope! I'm sure it's fine, Big Bear. It doesn't sound fine. No, it's broken. Uh, sorry, Big Bear. It was my fault. No, it's my fault. I wanted to be Rocket Bird. It's all right. I knew it wouldn't last forever. It was already old when Grandfather Bear gave it to me. Maybe I could try and fix it. I don't know how I'll ever see the planets again. You will see them again, Big Bear. Come on, Rosie. I've got this steering wheel and these old joysticks. There. I've drawn the planets. Ooh. Twig's coming through. They're perfect. It's time to get this space mission off the ground. Hello. Have you fixed my telescope, Will? Not yet, but I think I can. It'll just take a while longer. And in the meantime, we've got a treat for you. Ground control to Major Manny and Captain Bluebird. Are you reading me? We read you. Over. Positions, please. Ready, Big Bear? It's time to head off for a voyage across the universe. Look out for the shooting stars! everyone. We couldn't have done it without all the things you taught us. You're not just Big Bear. You're a great bear. Oh. <laughs> oh! Rackles, you scared me. Oh, sorry, Rosie. Oh, this book is so interesting. It's about volcanoes. I wish I could go and see a real volcano. Where's the nearest one? I don't think there are any volcanoes around here. And I'm quite glad about that. <laughs> oh, think hard, Rosie. There must be one around here somewhere. Experiment, Will. Good question. I thought I'd end up with more than just some funny coloured stuff. Hi, Will. Hi, Holly. Uh, can I borrow some salt, please? Yes, of course, Big Bear. Uh, actually, I borrowed it for my experiments. There must be an exciting one I can do. I've got the perfect thing. Come with me, Will. Vibrations in the ground. Did you feel them too, Ed? <laughs> Look out, everyone! A volcano is going to erupt. <laughs> hello, Raggles. Hello, Ed. What's all this? About a volcano then. It's not cookery. We do science in the kitchen every day, just cooking food. 
Here's the recipe for honey and banana bread. The yeast and the honey react together to make bubbles in the dough. And that makes the bread rise and become lovely and soft. Can I have a go? <laughs> this is like doing science. Good work, Scientist Will. Do you want to finish making the dough while I rake up the leaves in the garden? <laughs> no problem. In, the more bubbles there'll be, and the bread will be even more soft and yummy. Shh. I think I heard a rumble. Oops, that was my tummy. I didn't have much breakfast. What was that? The volcano is about to blow. Ooh. I really don't think there are any volcanoes around here. Sorry, Raggles. Aww. There must be some other volcano signs to look for. Well, I've heard that smoke sometimes comes out of the ground when a volcano's about to erupt. Smoke? Raggles, I don't think we're going to find a... A volcano! Look! Smoke! Caramba! Look out! A volcano's going to erupt! Don't panic! Just get away from the volcano as quickly as you... Oh. I can't wait to taste Will's bread. Oh, neither can I. What's wrong? Uh, Oakley and Archie told me all the signs to look for, but I still haven't found a volcano. Oh! <gasps> Big Bear, I think you better come quick! Oh! oh. How much yeast did you use, Will? <laughs> Is anyone brave enough to try some? Mm. Mm. Oh, yummy, yummy. In my tummy. <laughs> they should help us clear up the bread. Thanks for making sure everyone was safe, Raggles. I'm glad I could help, even though it wasn't a real volcano. Mm. It was definitely an eruption, though. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,